Uh, hey everybody, I want to show you this app I recently discovered called Shutter Stitch. Uh, what it does is it lets you wirelessly stream your photos to your iPad. Uh, this is an iPad Pro. Uh, here I'm in the settings. Let me bring this just a little bit closer so you guys can read. Um, what's so unique about this is no tethering cables are needed. Um, so I've already set it up. It is paid, but it's free for a week. Uh, the year is about 30 bucks, but it's awesome if you wanna take this on the road or in the field and you don't wanna deal with tethering cables. Um, I'm gonna show you my, the options and the settings that I have set up for my, can, uh, for my Nikon D850. Um, so settings, you can see you can turn on all these Wi-Fi cards. I turn them on, because why not? Wi-Fi cameras, they have Canon, Fuji, GoPro, Panasonic, and Sony. It doesn't say Nikon, but it works 100% with Nikon. Uh, there it is, PTP, IP, Nikon, uh, Wi-Fi. Make sure that is turned on. Uh, Wi-Fi cards, PTP, IP, except JPEGs only. I turn this on. NEFs do work, but they take so long to populate, so. I recommend using JPEGs. Uh, for the browser, this is all just personal preference. Uh, start an overview. You have JPEG recompression. I said I have it set to 80 as the lowest. It seems to load really fast that way. Um, and that's about it. But let me just give you a quick demo. Uh, so what you're gonna do is turn on your camera first. The camera right here. Uh, I'm gonna go and enable the Wi Fi. I just gotta find it somewhere in here. There it is. So establish a Wi Fi connection. There we go. In the app, go to the plus, just hit create. Then, sorry, I'm still learning this program. It's so cool. Ah, then you got to go back to settings and connect the Wi Fi, obviously. There it is. Okay, cool. We're connected. Back to shutter stitch. You can see 192.168.12. We're connected. I have my camera here. It also does give me that connected indicator. And now I'm just going to take a random shot just in my living room. And you can see it populating now, receiving DSC 824 JPEG. And there we go. Um, it does go a little bit quicker at times. Um, that was kind of slow for what I've noticed for my first couple of tests, but uh, it's really, really pretty awesome if you want just wireless te tethering on set.